Hello. Keep the dog here. is probably <laughs> but this game came yesterday the 18th was yesterday yeah the 18th because it's the 19th today for me anyway 2022's February 19th February 2022 War War never changes In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. First century. People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. My turn, big guy.
Hun, you look as good as the day we met. I think I'm... Hun? I'll just be a minute. Ah, oh, good morning, Mum. Thanks, Codsworth. Codsworth. I'll be sweeping up the floors later. Now, don't you touch the laundry. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Working in on next week's forecast, we have a high of 52 on Monday. Also, there are groups stationed overseas who are experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jow, the night is cold. Grognak. The barbarian and the jungle of the bat babies. <laughs> Good morning, Voltec calling. Go on. Nice to find you, ma'am. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see.
Oop. Uh, nim, nim, nim. Oh, crap. Should have thought about that. Um. Hmm. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> hey, hun, I have my moments. Wow, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to call me down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy, on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this. Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact Codsworth? with our what did he say? stations. Oh, listen. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We need to get to the vault. Now! Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Get the back! Go there! to get in we're on the list infant adult male adult female okay go ahead thank you good luck sir. you two follow me God, come on what's gonna happen to all those people outside we're the doing gate? everything we can now keep moving step on the platform in the center Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! situated in your new home vault 111 a better future underground uh, I've already said this. yes up the stairs 
I see what I mean, people. He's just saying this. No, we no, don't leave. Don't get caught up thinking about that. Yeah. You're yeah. safe now. Everyone, just head up you the stairs. Uh, my vocabulary is a bit messed up at the moment. Mm. Just this way, please. Please proceed. Female. This way. Step over to the table. Take a suit. Welcome. Huh. Pick up a suit. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow Everything the okay? We made it. Right over How did Thursday See? go? Um, this is our home. Okay. Over there. Uh, oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced yeah, facilities. Not that down. the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. They may or may not have uh, Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. To say Just a few medical items we have to get through go. first. It's a good fit, don't you think? So, the bald suit is designed to be fashionable and always comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? No, I said they may or may not. Yeah. Just step in here and put your bolts in. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the pod. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Okay, they, they said no because they were full. Occupant vitals. Normal. That means you actually have Procedures complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I'm playing Cryo Chamber Simulator. I'm joking, normal. I'm playing a game on a console at the moment. <laughs> I was gonna play GTA 5, but it gets blown by itself. This is the one. Mm. Here. No, oh, don't right. grab my child. <laughs> They're taking my child from my husband. I'm a female. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a female. Yeah, oh, they shot my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stare at me. No, I can't hear you. I took my headphones off so I can speak to Major M's. He's more important at the moment. I'm talking to the thing on the game. I'm playing a game. That should have given yeah. you very big <laughs> clues to as to what I am playing. <laughs> yeah, I am. A woman. It's a very big clue. Yeah. And 
goodness, I got dying like. Well, you could use a wrench as a melee weapon. I could put my clothes in the toolbox, but then wouldn't that mean I am um, not clothed? Adjustable wrench. What? I said I could take off the clothes. Doesn't mean I'm going to have extra clothes underneath. I don't know. Be Tomb Raider. Yeah, well, you can't kill me. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can change uh, clothes quite a lot. Uh, term link. I want. Uh, Right, I'm on a terminal. What should I click on? Are you actually playing like Blasters? No, I'm not. Because it's in terminal, and then I remember when I was playing it, I was playing it in terminal. Oh, you could be playing like fucking Fallout 4 or some shit. You can change the colors all the time there. You can use the red skin. I'm pretty sure you don't have Fallout 4. Yeah, I don't. So I was trying to say that would be a bit passing because I'm just going to have a Fallout 4 episode which would come underneath. Mm. I'd laugh um, if I did have Fallout 4 and they came out on the exact same day. That time, the same day. <laughs> yeah. Two notifications here. And the exact same title, like Fallout 4 episode 1. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. I don't think that was a Ah, uh, that would be really funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't. Uh, we barely have any videos on this game, so I need to go get my headset. I need to find myself a little bit. Oh, awesome. Well, I was thinking also at some point this afternoon. I don't know if you're around this afternoon. I might be playing some unturned. I mean, I have. A about 4 o'clock or something. Hmm. So I'm probably... Tomorrow, yeah. I'm trying to get the day off work. Yeah, because I got this game yesterday, the 18th. This... Was it a free game or did you have to pay for it? Um, well, considering my dad bought it... Um... Oh, you didn't say your dad bought it, you just said you got it yesterday. Well, 
I said I got it because he got it for me, mainly. Because it was like. Uh, and also, I got another game which I can talk about, which is Fallout 3 with it. Yeah, I got Fallout 3 like a separate case and disc with this game as well. I played that. A free version on Steam, it's absolutely shit. <laughs> um, I can tell you. says, Grand Theft Auto Let's Play Episode 5. So this will be episode... That's what it says on the Emony public videos. And yeah. Those are the only ones I can see. <laughs> Can't see private videos. <laughs> could have a look on the um, certain tab, but then I'll probably think going um, off there. <coughs> I've got one of the Chinese to now take in a couple to their hotel room. A what? <laughs> I actually want to take them to them out. What's... No. Oh, uh, the mission was, you know, the random people you can pick up and take their cars. Yeah. And then deliver them to, like, the hotel or something like that. Yeah, the motel, yeah. Yeah, well, um... I have decided, because of Trevor, you can take them to the old uh, camp. Yeah. No, I never actually took anyone to that camp before. Yeah. So, I'm saying, yeah. So, um, I've decided that I might try it. Okay. Oh, God. This video, all my GTA videos are going to be getting monetized. Okay. Why? Because they're doing the, uh... Well, yeah. But they... Oh, now they're doing... Oh, now they're... Now they're doing it. <laughs> Where the car oh, bounces. <laughs> I went in the first person, so you can't see it. Yeah, because in third, that shit hits the road. Why is that not stay properly? Why is it too bouncy for you? I like it. Yeah. Oh no, I got that! <laughs> I don't wanna walk. I have to go in third person so it's not as bouncy. Ooh. Yeah, but then. You... <laughs> this is why. Oh, no. Ah, no. Oh, I just... oh. Viewer's discretion is advised. This is not. Really for children under three. This video is definitely not for anyone under the age of like a hundred thousand years old. <laughs> That's uh, a bit of well, a. I, I didn't see. You know, on PlayStation when you're driving, you can press. Like, yeah. Uh, you know the stick where you, analog stick where you need to look around. Mhm. Mm if you press that down, it looks backwards. I was the first person and I clipped it by accident. <laughs> And they turned around while they were doing it. Uh, I, uh, I don't give a shit about your car, mate. You just went to while I was driving you. Just blows the thing. Oh, I want that open because I want to know. Guys, here's a bitch. Coming back later for you. I'll take that gun. I'll take that ammo. I'll take this ammo. This car definitely was not made for this type of. Um, I only had a bobby pin. No bobby well, pins. Okay. Sorry. I mean, I mean, 
What well, happened? Because now that's in my channel Where is and it the Emily channel. <laughs> as much as possible. Does that mean? Do you know how to act? Hey, oh, ooh, what the? What is that? So what you do right now, man? Ooh, I'm hacking. Right. Uh, 
nice. So I can carry 250 items. Christ, that's a lot. There's a third person. Oh no. Let's open the world. I don't like that. It's that. I can wander anywhere. That's I am out in the middle of nowhere. I'm lost in this game's open world. I am not gonna do any of these missions. There's a rock here. in the wilderness. You cannot go that way. It doesn't still help. I need to find the town. I should have looked at that. Godsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum? Well, 
Besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? Now we're talking. They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Uh, this is a big box. Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir, had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. He's gone, God damn it! Someone took him. They stole my baby. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It will take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack if you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mom, <laughs> it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house! <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believed Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A hollow tape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything Shit. dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? There's nothing left here. It's all gone. Well, if you wish to venture to parts unknown, I won't stop you. I shall guard the neighborhood in your absence. Codsworth. Mum, give me the word, Mum, and I'll initiate my search mode. I don't know, Codsworth. Follow me!
Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Shh. You could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home. Hey, Codsworth. There must be someone who can help you in Concord. Still tending the garden, Mum, and as you can see, our geraniums are still the envy of Sanctuary Hill. Hmm. I'm afraid I won't be able to repave the driveway anytime soon. Codsworth. Oh, don't worry about me, Mum. I'll be fine. Just hovering here. Be careful. Up the comments of us. Hey, Codsworth.
How long's your GTA 5 video been so far? Oh, well, we've been on the call for 46 minutes. did enjoy this episode, I'll try to actually remember what I'm doing, because I forgot how long this would be. Uh, so, next time, we'll see you soon, I'm Eve Dog. Like and subscribe for more, if you'd like. Sorry this was quite long, but until next time, see you soon. Goodbye.